All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be going over is the rediscover event slash features in Pokemon Go that have been announced in a brand new trailer. Um, if you haven't gone and seen the trailer, definitely go and watch it. It is interesting to see what is being released. So, as you can see on the screen here, we're going to go through each and all the upgrades they are bringing to Pokemon Go and which ones are controversial in a different way, and we'll go over them in a second. So the first one is called Rediscover Yourself. This is based on your avatar, being able to customize it a bit better. I think you can also take a picture of yourself and it makes your avatar look more like you. So that is pretty interesting if you are one who does buy all the, all the shop items or if you do the tickets to get the free shop items, then definitely worth it for some people. I don't use my avatar that greatly. I think I, I bought the Rayquaza Mega Max from Pokemon Go Fest. That's it. I wanted the Giratina wings, but 250 coins can be more spent on raid passes rather than an avatar item that doesn't really affect your gameplay. Um, this, sorry, I've just clicked on that. This is being released on April 17th globally. So as of tomorrow, you should be able to do this. Um, so definitely keep an eye on your game. If it doesn't happen, refresh your data, go to settings, advanced settings and then refresh data. It doesn't get rid of your account, it doesn't log you out, it just basically refreshes your game to get the new stuff that has been downloaded from the server. Um, then, ooh, then we have Rediscover Your World. Um, if you have this event or feature already, you'll notice on your map and in your encounters, you'll have a new background based on where you are in the world. So if you're at a beach and near the sea, it'll show a different background based on if you're in a city and things like that and it has made it really interesting obviously after a while you do seem to look past it um, but it is really good it's a lot it refreshes the game more um, but like I said if they were to keep changing it every couple of weeks to make it different it might be more like refreshing but after a while it does just simmer down um, that is being released on Earth Day which is April 22nd um, that is globally as well. Not only that, on April 22nd we do have Rediscover Kanto. Um, explore and find Pokemon first discovered in the Kanto region that makes their homes in certain biomes. So the different biomes you go to you'll see different Pokemon. So this one is going to be different. So currently any Pokemon can spawn anywhere. It's just more likely that in this biome you can catch XYZ. Um, whereas now it does look like if they carry on with this trend you might have events where grass Pokemon will spawn more in like forest areas and fields and things like that whereas you might find more steel Pokemon in cities because there's more cars there things like that so it's very interesting to see what they're doing here and if they play it right it might get people to explore more places than rather just going to somewhere with a load of Pokestops um, but I do think if this is the case, they need to upgrade the Pokestop nomination. Um, I think I put like 10 in and only one's been approved, even though they all match the, the correct descriptions and uh, requirements. So it is, it is what it is, but definitely worth it. And if they do get this right, it will be interesting to see. Then we have Rediscover Your Reality. Turn your world into a backdrop for Pokemon photos with revamped Go snapshot feature. Basically, this will be coming to global on May 7th. Um, basically, just improves the AR feature for your buddy. Um, I'm not going to use this very often. I only use it to get hearts on buddy Pokemon, which I'm not doing at the minute. I'm trying to get my Megas finished and I'll be looking into buddy Pokemon. But I can see a lot of people using this for just their videos and capturing new things and it will be a hype like video to go around it so I might use it for a few videos just to show it off and then we'll probably leave it because it it's another one that just simmers down once it's been used a couple of times it's just well it's just another AR so the rediscover Kanto event does seem interesting if they carry on these features it will make Pokemon Go a different game because you do have to go and explore certain biomes to find certain Pokemon However, it will be interesting to see where you find ice Pokemon when there's no snow in your country or where you are. So that'll be interesting. Um, but 
other than that, I think that's it. There's no, there's nothing been released properly for them, no information. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. It is just a quick one to go over this new update. Hopefully, it's going to be a lot better than I'm making out. It just doesn't seem the greatest. For me, I'd rather focus on features that are going to enhance gameplay. Like, for me, PvP, raid battles gym battles, things like that, they all need revamping, not the AR system. Um, we're going to put this in another video because it's been so stale having the same stuff over and over and even people I talk to who don't play the game, they always ask why isn't PvP like original Pokemon where you have four moves and you can attack. It just, it doesn't make sense why not to have that. If you can do it that way, it'd actually make it interesting. But for now, like I said, I'll bring this up in a different video that will be coming out soon. But thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you guys think these features are going to be great. Hopefully they are, and I hopefully get to use them a lot more than I do now because they are better. Um, also, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.